Hi guys, and welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're gonna be doing a huge declutter on the toys. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder and a recovering one at that. And I show you the masses and I tell you my mental struggles. And we clean it up in small sections at a time so that I can keep my anxiety calm to make good decisions to let things go and make decluttering a positive experience. So yes, today's video is very important because the kids started school today. They do two half days in school and the rest of the week is remote or hybrid or homeschool. I don't know, one of those three. <laughs> I guess remote, <laughs> but no. So I need to have an organized workspace for them because they're gonna be doing a majority of their work at home. So I'm gonna get into these baskets behind me. I gotta clear out at least half of the toys so that I can start to make a homeschool area for them. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so here's the area that I want to transform into the homeschool station, if you will. It is as soon as you walk into the house. And I decided to go with this because if I went into the playroom, I felt like there was too many distractions. So I'm going to start to set this where this can be the remote learning kind of station and then they can do their work at the table right over here. Now, these baskets underneath here, they are all full of toys. Let me move this sign real quick. They're all full of toys. And I want to be able to empty out at least two of them so that the kids can store books and different things for their homeschool station. And this, this is going to be a lot for me. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be a lot, but I can do this. I can do this. My kids are counting on me to conquer my ADHD and be an organized mama for school. So I got to do this. We can do this. And then this, I'll just, I'll just give it a quick tidy. Nothing crazy. My beautiful sunflowers are dead. Oh no, I got to dump them. <laughs> but no, I'm looking forward to doing that. But for today's video, what I'm really looking forward to is just going through these toys, decluttering them and having two empty baskets. All right, guys, there it is all laid out. Oh my gosh, that's it. We fit in those baskets. Holy moly, this looks like a Kamari method video. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little anxious, a little overwhelmed, but we can do this. We can do this. We've grown, we've healed, we've recovered. So I think that we can handle this. Now, I'm not gonna have my children in this because I keep them off camera to try and protect their privacy. It's just what I feel comfortable with right now. So I will go through the toys, but off camera, I will show them what we're letting go of and what we're keeping and to see if they want to add to the pile, you know, of stuff that they want to let go as well. So I think the best thing for me to do, right, because it's kind of driving my ADD a little um, wild right now with all the stuff. <laughs> I think the best thing for me to do is pick out stuff that I want to donate to this special charity for special needs children because they do these gift bags and stuff. And I can pick out stuff for that and then I can also pick out stuff for the sharing table. So stuff that's like brand new, like, like this right here, I can grab that and put that towards the charity. It's brand new, it's not open. So I can kind of start with like the easy things, like this Jurassic Park thing, that's not opened. Okay, we can donate that. Same with this, we can donate that, that can go. And look, here we go, we got the momentum started, right? We're grabbing this, we're grabbing that. It's just getting that momentum started, I think that's what the most important thing is. Now, something like this, I don't even know what this goes to, so we can just let that go. Right here, this is ripped. This is tossy tossy. I can't keep that anymore. We have to let that 
go. And right now, <laughs> there's a leaf. <laughs> we, she's a little torn, so we can let that go. Same with random card. That could be a recyclable tossy tossy. It's out of here. And I guess just that's how we're going to do it, right? We're just going to go step by step. What's this? Yep. Okay. We can do that for the thing. It's sealed. So that can be in a grab bag. Oh my gosh, guys. There's so much. Oh, this right here. We can donate that. Brand new. It's sealed. Let's go ahead and do that. I think we're definitely getting our momentum going. So, all right, let's go through this. <laughs> opening up the floor we can see my carpet again <laughs> we still kind of got to get the outskirts over here but let me kind of show you what's going on so I do have my little one next to me but he's not gonna be on camera but this is kind of like what we're keeping right now right and then we have like semi piles in the sense that um, like that's Legos that has to go in the Lego bin that has to go in the food bin this is kind of like the baby toys that my heart's just not ready, guys. So that's okay. We'll do one day when I'm stronger, we'll do a big Kamari method on the baby toys. But right now, I just got to put them in a the bin. And this is our pile that we're letting go of. Uh, I have to divide it better because it's a combination of Tossy Tossy and the charity and like the sharing table. But for us and toys, this is a lot. We're doing really, really good. So, all right, let's continue doing this. All right, this is the last section to go through and let me tell you the decision making fatigue is starting to set in but we got this we can do this i want to keep on going i want to finish this So these are the toys that we are going to be keeping and we're going to see how much fits into two of these baskets. Now some of the stuff over here, we already have bins and baskets in the playroom already labeled. So we'll go ahead and put them back where they belong as well. This over here is the baby toys right here, right? And I have such wonderful memories of my boys being little babies and toddlers and pulling out these toys out of those bins and playing with them. And that's why the sentimental attachment is just still very strong, right? Because I'm still kind of, you know, going through the emotions of them getting older and me pulling out of that season and me unable to carry a third child. So these things have strong attachments. So I'm gonna put them in a bin, a separate bin, in the basement and when I'm ready and when I'm stronger, then I can do a Kamari method on the baby toys. But let me show you the most awesome part of this. This is what we're letting go of. Guys, that is a lot. This is like a hoarder victory. <laughs> Seriously, this is what we're letting go of. And I feel okay. I, I do. I feel good about it. Now, I had to divide it even a little better because we do have some going to the charity. We have some that is clearly a tossy tossy. We have some that's going to the sharing table. And I didn't divide it into three. I was just kind of like putting it in the pile of what we were ready to let go of. But guys, 
This is the biggest victory in healing and my hoarding because this is toys. This is sentimental. I used to not be able to get rid of any toys, like any. And two years into this journey, I'm getting rid of, there's hundreds of little things in here, seriously. Like this is, let me back up. If you see the two piles, I'm letting go of a third of the toys in one shot. That is huge. Guys, this is the biggest victory ever for me because I can't believe we did it. I got rid of a third of the sentimental things. Like, wow, that is just, that is just amazing. So, okay, now we have to go start putting stuff back. <laughs> did it. We did what we set to accomplish. I was able to empty out two toy bins and we're keeping these two over here. I, I'm still in awe of how much I've healed in my hoarding to be able to let go of that amount of toys in one sitting. We did it and I, I know a big huge part of that is because I have the most loving, encouraging YouTube family, and I'm just so grateful for you guys always leaving these loving comments. And look, it's all done. So now this piece is going to be ready. It's gonna be ready for us to transform it into a homeschool station. I did like leave this stuff here because, you know, literally like tomorrow I'll be working on the homeschool station, so I'll need to have it closed to get it ready and organized. But guys, overall, Oh my gosh, we did it. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. You can heal in your hoarding. You really can heal in your hoarding disorder if you take the baby steps. Just each day, even if you let go of one little thing, I don't care if it's a paper clip, it starts to create a habit of you of decluttering. And then you get stronger, and then you can declutter more things in one time, and your anxiety doesn't get triggered, and it feels really good. So guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this video, and I just want to say, man, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs>